Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. American Rescue Plan tax credits available to small employers to provide paid leave to employees receiving COVID-19 vaccines. New fact sheet outlines details. IR 2021-90, April 21, 2021, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service and the Treasury De Department announced today further details of tax credits available under the American Rescue Plan to help small businesses, including providing paid leave for employees receiving COVID-19 vaccines. The additional details provided in a fact sheet released today spell out some basic facts about the employers eligible for the tax credits. It also provides information on how these employers may claim the credit for leave paid to employees related to COVID-19 vaccines. Eligible employers such as a businesses and tax-exempt organizations with fewer than 500 employees and certain governmental employers can receive a tax credit for providing paid time off for each employee receiving the vaccine and for any time needed to recover from the vaccine. For example, if an eligible employer offers employees a paid day off in order to get vaccinated, the employer can receive a tax credit equal to the wages paid to the employees for that day up to certain limits. Quote, the new information is a shot in the arm, a shot in the arm, for struggling small employers who are working hard to keep their businesses going while also watching out for the health of their employees, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, our work on this issue is part of a larger effort by the IRS to assist the nation re recover from the pandemic, end quote. The American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, the ARP, the ARP, also allows small and mid-sized employers and certain governmental employers to claim refundable tax credits that reimburse them for the cost of providing paid sick and family leave to their employees due to COVID-19, including a leave taken by employees to receive or recover from COVID-19 vaccines. Self-employed individuals are eligible for similar tax credits. And that was kind of a big thing because the self-employed individuals note uh, if you're self-employed, they still kind of treat you kind of like an employee of your own business, meaning they charge you the employer and employee portion <laughs> of the payroll taxes. So if you're self-employed, you might have a similar kind of um, situation there as well, which is kind of nice. The ARP, the ARP tax credits are available to eligible employers that pay sick and family leave for leave from April 1st, 2021 through September 30th, 2021. The paid leave credits under the ARP, the ARP, are tax credits against the employer's share of the Medicare tax. The tax credits are refundable, which means that the employer is entitled to payment of the full amount of credits if it exceeds the employer's share of the Medicare tax. In anticipation of claiming the credits on the Form 941, Employer's Quarterly Federal Tax Return, eligible employers can keep the federal employment taxes that they otherwise would have deposited, including federal income tax withheld from employees, the employee's share of Social Security and Medicare taxes, and the eligible employer's share of Social Security and Medicare taxes with respect to all employees up to the amount of credit for which they are eligible. So same kind of concept here. Remember the 941s typically paid quarterly if you're an employer and you pay payroll taxes, then you're, you're, the basic idea is that uh, you take the money out of your employees' checks as you pay them throughout the quarter. That includes Social Security, Medicare, and their federal income tax for the employees. And then you have to match your portion of the, of the Social Security and Medicare at, and, and those are the main kind of payroll taxes we're talking about. And then at the end of the quarter, you file the quarterly tax return to kind of sum up and show that you have indeed done what you're supposed to do. You typically don't owe any more taxes if things were done properly. When you file the 941 at the end of the quarter, it's an informational return. Now, if you're taking on these credits, they're trying to make the, the credits be like you, keep, you hold on to some of the money that you would have withheld because you expect that you're going to have this credit at the end of the quarter and then when you file at the end of the quarter you should come out even again due to the fact that this credit will be put in place that that way you can you can hold on to the money uh earlier and get access to it earlier so similar concept as we've seen a lot of the rules we're talking about are these kind of prepayment types of things taking action uh before the 
before the return is filed. So you can look into the credit and, and in more detail here, and you can look at the form 941 employer quarterly tax return has a link to it as well. If the eligible employer does not have enough federal employment taxes on deposit to cover the amount of the anticipated credit, the eligible employer may request an advance by filing form 7200 advance payment of employer credit due to COVID-19. So here's how I interpret that. Basically, they're saying, hey, you're going to calculate the credit. You're going to try to take the credit before you file the quarterly tax returns so you can get it earlier. So you do not have to wait until filing the quarterly tax returns and then have the IRS basically send you the money. You'll then take the money that you would have given the government in part due to the payroll taxes. Hold on to that due to the fact that you're going to have the credit, which you're going to report on the Form 941 at the end of the quarter. But... If that's not enough money, if you don't have enough money due to the, the withholdings that you can apply out, then you could still possibly get the, the difference, you know, earlier, once again, by possibly filing the form 7200 advance payment of employer credit due to the COVID-19. So that's going to be that. So self-employed individuals may claim comparable credits on the form 1040 U.S. individual income tax return. So if you're self-employed, then again, you're kind of thinking, you're, you might be saying, hey, if I'm self-employed, I might have employees too, and I might be filing Form 941 and be in a similar situation there. But I believe what they're saying is this could apply as well if you're a sole proprietorship because you as the sole proprietor of your own business are basically treated as an employee because the IRS charges you both Social Security and Medicare, <laughs> you know, the both sides of the employee and employer portion when they charge the self-employment tax. So that means, you know, so you're paying the, basically the payroll taxes on both sides, employer and employee. So you might have the same kind of benefit or they're trying to equal it out, I believe, on the self-employed uh, side of things as well. So if you're in that situation and you're self-employed, you might want to look at that in a bit more detail too. So, uh, and you could find a link here for the Form 1040 U.S. Individual Income Tax Return and sort through that and the instructions. So, more details are available in the fact sheet. There's also a link to the fact sheet here. So, you can look at that and there'll be a link to this in the description.